بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد privacy is a very important constitution in the life of a believer اكثر من السيفتي يسين بوم ان سرك من دمك your secrets are part of you they are part of you so much consider it your blood fanzur ayna turiqahu watch out where you spill your blood is it worth spilling your blood your secrets because if it's to the wrong person then you'll be compromised so in deen we are encouraged not only to hide the good we do but make sure if any errors are made forget concealing sin and maasiya but making such a tauba in front of allah that it's erased from the books of deeds there is no record of it make such a tauba in front of allah unfortunately nowadays the equation has inverted and people take pride on boasting of their sins boasting of the acquisition and progress of dunya which draws more harm than benefit so are we actually ab- obliged to divulge anything of our life it is us ourselves that have caused the compromise somebody said i do not have anything to hide but i do not have anything i feel like showing you either i don't need to show you so i we oblige somebody says that you know what i need to, when 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 you famous then you'll have the paparazzi and you'll have this publicity you no know, if you are a believer and you have iman you are a target They say the worst thing about being famous is the invasion of your privacy. If you are Muslim, they will want to invade your privacy. Because Islam is haq, but it will make sure haq will never spread. So a person will be a, a target. Sometimes people are naive to believe that their government, their state is there for them. They're not for you. They've got agendas. So relying on government to protect your privacy is like asking a peeping tom to install your window blinds. Relying on any government to protect your privacy is like asking a peeping tom to install your window blinds. Not going to happen. So this disease of of social media, this disease of promoting our lives is destructive. So just the fact that you don't shade on social media doesn't mean you're not big you're not into things do what you need to do and stay low key stay low profile privacy is everything so we've made a pact we've made an ahd and we are encouraged to fulfill this ahd wa awfu bil ahd in al ahd kana mas'ula fulfill this covenant fulfill this promise you will be questioned you will be interrogated about this covenant so the information which allah has encouraged us and told us that promise which we made we need to stick to that promise the one meaning of ahd is al yamin a a a an act a pact between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another meaning is al-wasiya advice another meaning of ahd is a allegiance a a a pledge al-wafa this pledge which a person had made another meaning is al-aman this pledge that you made will bring you safety al-aman when you fulfill your ahad your pledge you will you will be drawing safety for yourself protection security this is what privacy is about your own safety your own privacy the safety of humanity everybody wants to be intrusive 
and wants to know. Interrogation. Mind your own business. Continue your own life. No, the mizaj has changed. So we have to do what we should be doing. Zidman Tani used to say that if you want honor and respect, practice on deen, practice on sharia. Others will respect you. Because when a person is a true Muslim, whether whatever religion he belongs to, he's going to respect you. Because deen inculcates in a person those qualities which will draw attention, it will draw respect. So you should say, stay firm on deen and other nations will come under your spell. So the weakness is with us. We are compromising on deen ourselves. So we were busy with privacy, the smartphone, the mobile phone. So the, 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 the cloud storage, the backup, the restoration. To be very cautious, careful. What's stored, what, what history there is. And history defines a person. So even if a person the, deletes their browser history, their laptop, mobile information, they reset it, they format it. In the cloud, your every search is stored in the company servers. So besides going into the cloud of your own, own, own storage systems, but their data is part of their protection. So we'll get into that inshallah, what browsers to be using when you are searching. Now a person just goes on the normal Google server, they've already made deals with different uh, agencies to, to divulge information. In 2013, when the Boston Marathon incident happened, then uh, a family in Long Island had two black SUVs pull up in front of the house, open the door, these are uh, Homeland Security federal agents, we need to come inside. Yes, no problem, sir, officer, come in. Have you been search for pressure cookers and backpacks? The wife wanted to cook something, she innocently searched for that, her husband wanted to go uh, mountaineering outdoors, so he was looking for backpacks. But these two words came up as a high profile algorithm in the Google searches. So the agents were there for about two hours, they cleared them, but the moral of the story is searching for a simple thing like a pressure cooker and a backpack, put them on the radar. So not necessarily, it's, 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 it's restricted to YouTube uh, or, or Google or your Gmail accounts, but everything where you connected. So you have to make sure somebody has got everything on the cloud, uh, synchronized the wrong phone, person's married, got kids, but his old phone had information which that synced for some reason he was busy on his wife's phone and he put something inside he was busy searching and that information got backed up he didn't know and his wife seen all of that his history ended up in a divorce so the less people know about you the better and people want to extort this information and a believer does not put himself in vulnerable situations like a female traveling and putting herself in that position like somebody sending intimate pictures of themselves etc 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 information is your strength or your weakness so they they will use it against you whoever whenever however let the relationship turn sour and see what goes on the net a father called his son in New York and said, you know what, son, I'm, I'm divorcing mom. The son said, but dad, Abba, you can't, you've been married for 52 years. Said, Sorry, you know what, I don't want to discuss it, my mind's made up and I'm just telling you about it. So the son says, okay, can I speak to Omi, mother, can she, can, no, what you talking about, she doesn't even know, I'm just telling you, I'm going to see the lawyer day after tomorrow. 
So the sun shocked Baffle. He said, okay, Father, but I don't do anything rash. I'm, I'm getting the first flight down to to you. Tomorrow morning, first flight, I'll be with you. We can talk about it. So the father said, okay, I'll delay the lawyer's meeting. What about your sister? Well, uh, sure, no problem. Let me let me get her on it. She'll be, she'll be here as well. Tomorrow morning, both of us. We synchronize our time, we land in at the airport and uh, we'll be arriving there. So the daughter called also, Abba, you know what, please don't do anything, I'm coming down. Finished the conversation, then he turns to his wife, the father. He said, it worked this time. What are we going to do next year to get them down? They want, they don't, they didn't ever see their kids for so long, so the parents plotted a way to get the kids but just this information was sufficient to move them although it wasn't true so information is key in life and when we decide to compromise our own information we we, we increase our vulnerability so the device you're using the laptop that you're using the searches that you are making if a person the processes we've mentioned find uh, difficult and too tedious, then a secondary device, configure that, if configure that device, make sure that uh, you are not connected to any mobile network. So you could use between the VPN and uh, uh, taking signal data from another device so you, you, you pull in off another device which has a VPN and your device has a VPN. Then that device would be used temporarily, fix a time how long it should last you and, and that should never be used anywhere close where your home should be because obviously people are tracking you, they're tracking your movements. So so whatever work you need to do where you don't want to, 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 to release any information the device can be used, but it's an anonymous device which is not connected to you, no email, n nothing of that sort. Likewise, if you needed to camouflage a lot of things uh, to, to, to bypass their system, so there's a bag which is called a, a, a Faraday bag. So this blocks and prevents the single signal from entering or escaping. So let's say if you're having an important conversation in the olden days, you would remove the SIM card, you'll, you'd remove the battery and then have a conversation because they could access your microphone, access your camera, etc. So here you just place it in the bag. So they've made, they've designed phones. Now you cannot do that because the idea is, and they've made it even difficult to remove the SIM card. The idea is that you, you do not know and you cannot bypass their system. So even this bag that you do get it, also you need to do a test. One is the Bluetooth test, which is the signal strength to see if it really works. Connect it to a, a, a speaker, play some Kira'at, then place it in the bag. If it continues to play, it doesn't work, you wasted your money. The second one is the Wi-Fi as well. So a stream something from your mobile phone, some anashid and while you're streaming and it's plain played then you put it in the bag and see if it's plain. So you need something that you make sure we, we, we rely on what people are saying but we don't test. So uh, likewise if a person is using multiple devices and you've registered on one phone not necessarily you need to use that phone. For example, WhatsApp or Signal have an app which you download, which could be used on your desktop, could be used on a tablet, etc. So you could do your work, but not even connected where you have to use your primary device. So it could be somewhere else and you could be doing the same work, etc. So you could send your normal text audio using the laptop. Likewise, from, from location and pings, they could locate you. So from your smartphone, if it's connected to any towers, that's, that's a bigger breach. So ideally, a person should be only using their Wi-Fi and their Wi-Fi devices are configured 
uh, all the necessary software has been installed to make sure that even through the Wi-Fi, your location, your identity cannot be compromised. So, uh, depends on how anonymous a person wants to go also. Some people rely on airplane mode, but it's not sufficient because on the back end sometimes, the updates, something disables and uh, reboots, something happens as an accidental con connection and your location is compromised. What's important also, so you've added VPNs, the firewall. So firewalls are very important. Generally, people put it on their laptops, but on their smartphones, they don't put uh, any firewalls. So all these apps ask for permissions by default. You can't use it and people don't read the terms and conditions. So there's a lot of privacy violations with these uh, apps. And uh, if you have a iPhone, then lockdownhq.com is a, a free open source firewall where a person can install and uh, when you enable this, obviously between your firewall and your VPN, you need to configure it. So there is no conflicts. But you go to the block list and uh, you, 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 you identify and enable it. Likewise for Android as well. If you've gone with the advanced Graphene OS, etc., that's different. But uh, Blockada is a open source um, software which you could download and this will help a person. You go into the settings, you go to your block list and uh, you, you set it. So even the DDH, which is your developer, dance host, your, your other software which is required, um, also, if, if, if a person can see NetGuard also, a person can use NetGuard as well. So if you have something which you have uh, stored on your hard drives and you don't need to go into the internet or connect to that, so for, to prevent incoming and outgoing connections, you choose NetGuard and uh, that could be used also. Then you could even manually go into the camera and the microphone blocking. So whether you just take a tape and, and stick it over your camera, on your laptop, on your phone, the front camera and the back camera. In 2019, Facebook was enabling the front camera of mobile devices while uh, users were viewing their feeds. So you'll see many of the social network apps, they circumvent the security. And uh, you just accept and authorize all the necessary permissions and they have access to your microphone, everything that has been set in that vicinity and uh, obviously cameras have also, they've got access to that. Somebody could be intimate uh, in their bedroom, the phone is, is in not the right position and those cameras are activated, etc. So sometimes accidental exposure as well. So camera blockers, whether you just take a sticker uh, or you buy the, um, the sliding camera blockers, which you have an option to open or close, whatever it is going to do the job. Likewise, the microphone to block that as well. So we've got the speaker. When you put it on speakerphone, the speaker plays. Likewise, when you listen in your ear, it the speaker plays. And then you've got, so the microphone. So if a person normally now receives a call, then when he speaks, that's where the microphone at the bottom transmits the information and by his ear, there's a speaker. Likewise, if you put it on hands-free, then there are the louder speakers which play, which you can listen as well. So when a person puts a cable in, then this deactivates all of that and uh, that cable. So if a person has a, a microphone headset, a, a uh, headset which you could plug into your phone, then there's a way where you could uh, deactivate the microphone. That's one way of doing it. Or a person, if he doesn't have headphones, then uh, you get the microphone plugs which disable the microphone.
from the device that's purchasable you can go and buy it as well and uh, they are more reliable so but now also recently they've bypassed that and there's no jack where you could plug in these devices here so depending on the phone that you're going to use this is very important because uh, even in certain apps there's a vulnerabilities in 2021 signal had a vulnerability patch where you could uh, maliciously instruct the app and an intruder could listen to your entire conversation so this is very important that we, we maintain privacy we uh, look after privacy as well the amal for today is that between the adhan and the iqama duas are accepted as well so uh, to make dua at that time during the iqama as well sa'atan la yuraddu ala da'in da'watuhu two moments your dua is accepted hina tuqamu salah when the iqamat of salat is happening wa fi saffi sabilillah in while a person is in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala إِذَا ثُوِّبَ بِالصَّلَاةِ فُتِّحَتْ أَبْوَابُ السَّمَاءِ وَاسْتُجِيبَ الدُّعَى When Iqamat is being given, the doors of the heavens open and duas are accepted. So we should make dua during the time of Iqamah. May Allah give us tawfiq of making amal. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا نِلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ